Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. The brand names are familiar. Deer Park or Zephyr Hills. This Madison County Nestle Waters plant pumps out more than 100,000 bottles an hour from a nearby spring, but the company wants more. So we don't necessarily want to use water from the same source to put on a Sam's Club product as we would on a Zephyr Hills product. So we look for alternate sources for that reason. Nestle is studying whether the springs that form the Wasissa River in Jefferson County can supply up to a million and a half more gallons a day. The water would be trucked across local roads to the bottling plant. Hardly a yard in the area is without a Say No to Nestle sign. Roland Brumley was born here 65 years ago. We just want people to know that uh, we love this river and we don't want it destroyed. We don't want these natural resources to go away. The company says it is just studying the idea and no decision has been made and won't for at least six months. The company says it will look out for the river and pay attention to local residents. If the scientific study shows that this is not a feasible project, we will walk away. If approved and after paying a couple of hundred dollars for a use permit, Nestle could take a million and a half gallons a day and never pay another cent. The fact that the water is almost free burns local residents even more. And here's a foreign company, not an American-based company, coming in taking something that belongs to the people of the state of Florida for free. Nestle says if it's going to be charged for the water by the gallon, every user should have to pay the same fee. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilinda reporting.